Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was! I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? For what? You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me, even now, is truly inspiring. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. 
We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. <sighs> but the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That. What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly. But that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me? Both of you. Yeah. I mean, as much as I ever do. Chloe? We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? 
I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. <sighs> Moral of the story. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour. How long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Finally, what I actually came here for. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. F 
Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Max would have loved this shit. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Until... Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. 
She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. It's about damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce. Very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over.
Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I... plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. I want to see my shit so badly. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe! Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I... I... I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck-up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and... I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, 
You'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, The first thing it needs is... Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Don't tell me what to do. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood?
Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Um, this thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. This mat has seen some things. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. Uh, 
I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. You're a long way from the beach. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Right. It's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Right. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone? Like, in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. I'll see you. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. This'll give intruders something to think about. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> didn't think so. Fixing the truck was hard work.
Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Dad? Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Do I even like marshmallows? I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what?
Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria chase Jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc.
So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are, and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit. It's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe.
Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel. Rachel Amber's mystery bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe.
The cutting edge in junkyard security technology. the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who's that look up? God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Fight the power. You're listening to 87.9 FM, the Seder. I have with me Jack Kearney, chief of the Arcadia Bay Fire Department. I'm gonna go right to the chase, Jack. What can you tell us? Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Hard to contain. We don't typically see fires like this on the other Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. That's an insane amount of beans. Well, the fire is spreading in an unusual way, sort of surrounding the northern <laughs> What does Frank really need to remember? Unusual indeed. What causes a fire to behave that way? What does Frank really need to remember? everything we can just to keep it contained. Gary. Well, there you have it, folks. Straight from the fire chief's mouth. Got it. Thanks for filling us in, Jack. You're welcome. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Balanced breakfast. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. Frank. Next time, try Ask Miss Arcadia. Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Shit. 
the Milburn Down. Jeez, that's an expensive dog. Swingy, flippy instrument of death. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Because Frank finally gave up on the stake. A throne fit for Frank. Frank and his BFF. That's Adorable. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Is this what I think it is? Ah, uh, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Oh, man. I hope Argus and Bowser are okay. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? That dog makes Frank look almost nice. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <sighs> okay. Fine. Guess Rachel's dad isn't bad girls. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me, like, another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? 
Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? He's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Hurry up and get into the dorms. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here?
I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. <laughs> it's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... You think we're... together? You've been hanging out a lot, which I know might not mean anything, but I like to be extra careful about these things. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... it's... confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe, you know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. There's Evan, putting his pretentious art above his sanity, as usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude. Why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's... pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but... Did you really expect people to care? 
People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Evan, you're pretty stuck up. D did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. I anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. Be kind to yourself, Chloe Price. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Nice work, Samuel. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Max would have jumped on that photographer position.
If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Uh. So tempting, but Evan will see me, for sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. So tempting, but Evan will see me, for sure. Uh... <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. So tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. <sighs> and he's. Gotcha. Perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the dorms? Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Skip, how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Skip, I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe, but I really can't. Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? <sighs> Didn't think so. 
I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't... You know, patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a... a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I thought we were friends, too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh. I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. All right, which one is Drew's room? <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or... <laughs> remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Elliot's mom seems nice.
Lucky Dana. <laughs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> There's way less porn here than I would have thought. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. Yep, uh, definitely Drew's room. Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? <laughs> they look so happy. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. We might have failed to kill you, Durgaron. But something tells me Mikey's not through. <laughs> Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. <laughs> awesome. Plenty of possible combinations here. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Plenty of possible combinations here.
Damn it. Wrong numbers. <sighs> Might actually need some help with this one. One, two, two, seven. Ugh, worth a shot. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did a little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Cells are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah, bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm the... Ugh. Where is it? Ugh. Please! Just give me one with- oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid! No oh. one steals from me! Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck!
Let me go! No! Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you were one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye, football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Ugh. Ugh. Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Uh, here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I... I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad. He... He needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you.
This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her.